How to calibrate a printer. Well, first off, I want to start by explaining why you would want to calibrate a printer. Uh, the reasons you would want to calibrate a printer are um, sometimes if you're setting a new one up out of the box or uh, if you've just been using it for a while, uh, the print heads will kind of get out of alignment. Uh, you might see uh, banding or streaks of unprinted space in a document where you would expect printing to be. Uh, sometimes the characters will get kind of warped or you know misaligned look kind of like they're squished or stretched out. You might see indication of uh, color not printing properly, but then when you check the ink levels, the ink levels are correct. So that could indicate things like clogged nozzles. So what you'll need to do to calibrate is basically, and calibration basically, you know, it's, it's going through making sure the print heads are aligned properly and making sure that the nozzles are clean so that you can get a good clean print. Now I'm going to show you the basics of how to calibrate on our sample printer the Epson R1800. You see we have the, the printer utility pulled up for the R1800. Um, each function, um, we're not going to worry about the status monitor. The uh, auto nozzle check and cleaning, that basically is going to run multiple processes. Not all printers have an automatic um, all-in-one all uh, utility like that, a functionality like that. Um, a nozzle check is basically if you've got banding, if you've got the big horizontal lines that just don't show up um, head cleaning is if there's uh, anything that would indicate no uh, clogged nozzles or if your overall print quality just starts to look really bad, uh, but it's not anything specific. Now we're going to look at print head alignment. This is the utility we're going to actually run. Um, this is what you use if the text looks like it's been misaligned, uh, kind of uh, warped, garbled, uh, some, like, almost like somebody's been jerking the paper around as it prints. So we're going to go ahead and choose this utility. Uh, you have the options, you know, in this case, automatic or manual. We're going to go with automatic, and it says it's going to print us an alignment sheet. So we'll go ahead and start that. Once that finishes, we'll follow the instructions on the sheet to finish the alignment process.